Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. You okay? Okay. Okay? Are you bleeding? <laughs> no, the bedding and I find up to play. <laughs> well? Well, finally. I was creeping around all last night trying not to wake you. It's amazing. <laughs> Valentine's Day. So that's next Friday, 9.20. Nothing to eat for 12 hours. Morning, campers. Morning. Oh, you've not done the mail. Funny enough, I've been rather busy. <laughs> oh, crikey! There's loads for me. Maybe they're all interviews. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Red one sent it for you. Blimey. Oh. oh, what a posh poem as well. Valentine, you are the one that sets my heart aglow. If only I could touch your smile. And cure your rank B.O. <laughs> <laughs> if only all Valentines were so candid. He's a dark arse, you're a rash there. Oh, yeah. Very tasteful. How many did you get? Ugh, nada. Ditto. Mercifully. Well, it's very easy to be cynical, but not my Ashley. It's taken me to the opera in Birmingham. La Traviolata. Traviolata. Hmm? <laughs> oh! The birds of the universe unite. Huh? <laughs> we who do Valentine's Day properly. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Um, listen, I'm just going to drop this into Howard. It'll be five minutes and then the day is out. OK. okay. Mm -hmm. So, did he, um, did he get you anything? A gorgeous bracelet and champagne breakfast. Oh, lovely. <sighs> Mine's taking me to the opera. We're, we're going out for lunch as well. Michelin starred. Oh. Mm. Don't tell him, but I, I've booked a surprise. A surprise? For Jimmy? Are you sure? A day at the Argus Bar. Dead exclusive. He's gonna love it. Um, it might be better to run it by him first. It's fine. We have a unique trust and understanding of each other. A match made in heaven. Exactly. Hello. Oh, Karen. What's the matter? I've got more re rejection letters. I'm a total failure. That is not true. You just have to be patient. Yeah. But nobody wants a middle-aged teenager. What's this? Strike meeting. Karen's got a couple of rejection letters. It's just standard ones. Nothing to worry about. Except for the one... that I'm, I must be off my trolley if I think that I can get a job with my qualifications. Oh, yeah, well, you want to work somewhere like that anyway. But I've got so much to offer. I'd be brilliant. We know that. Just must not read like that. Plus, there's lots of competition. I've got loads of experience. Yeah, but just not in the areas that you're applying for. It's so stupid. You're actually in a great position because because you've got a job here for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know it's hard, but you've just got to meet things head on. It's been head on ever since I woke up in that blooming hospital with a load of strangers staring at me. When's life going to be simple again? Is this the uh, Argus Bar? It's written outside, no? More like the Argus Bar. It's a place of relaxation, spy on the bar. Nice on this on the internet. I have just booked premises. I'm waiting for refurbish. She's very good service. Um, I booked on... Internet voucher, yes, but you are very late. Oh, fine. Well, we'll, we'll go then. Oh, no, no, no. There is still time. We'll be just a bit quicker. I have very good grooming package for gentlemen. The sack, back and crack. <laughs> I don't think. Mm -hmm. OK. It's shy, boy. So, maybe facial, steam skin, make very clean. Why don't you, um, 
I'll, I'll just wait here. Uh, not if you don't. I... Come, it's treat from sweetheart. You must. And for lady? I was wondering about the decongesting oh, wrap. Yes, it's really beautiful. It makes so slimming and relaxed. Put on eye mask, drifting up. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure that I want oh, someone... Yeah, you'll love it. It makes you feel so clean. Really? You're a big baby. I'm not going to jog head off. Just make skin beautiful. I'm expert. Promise. OK, well, as long as we're out by lunchtime. Of course. So, I take facial and lady go with Tasha. Hello. She not speak much English. Come, come. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Karen, it makes such a difference you being back, you know. It gives you all something to laugh at. No, what it means you can put your hand straight on something when you need it. Oh, it's common sense, really. Oh, no. You'd be surprised at how many people just throw things back in any old phone. Well, different people have different systems. Those people who wrote those rejection letters knew how good Karen is. Well, not a single interview. Thank you, by the way. Now, don't worry, because you will get that dream job if it is the last thing I do. <laughs> Absolutely. Although it'd be a shame to lose you. So brilliant with the patients. Not really. You are, they love you. Oh. Asking after you when you were off. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Walker. <gasps> My sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gorgeous thing, you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Two cards you have outdone yourself, you little devil. Two? Mm, yeah, you little minx. I knew it was from you. The poem is so tasteful. Poem? It's very romantic, though. I prefer my version. <laughs> that card is not from me, Valerie. Oh. Does that mean I've got a secret admirer? Huh? Oh. Did I fall asleep? Huh. I wonder. I was up all night doing balloons. What does it look like? Ah! It, it looks radioactive. Is it supposed to be this colour? So it's still clean, yes? Yeah, really clean, actually. No, for really clean, I make extractions. Extractions? Trust me, you will like. You are a very good candidate. Okay. Well, I think you're going to interrogate me or something. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Ah, ah, naughty boy, just ah. one little worm. Ah! <sighs> Is it good? Oh, yeah, fantastic. How was yours? Oh, yeah, great. Let's have a look. Oh, don't worry. It's from extraction. In ten minutes, gone. So, now you pick treatment for afternoon, yes? Oh, right. Uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, why don't we um, pick when we come back? I've got you. Ah, thank you for fitting us in. Do you think we could start with a bottle of champagne, please? That last place is a bit stuffy. It's much better to be somewhere where we can relax. Mm. Mm. What? Nothing. I can't imagine anything nice than sitting here with you. Me neither. Oh, I love this song. Oh, hello! <laughs> what happened to your fancy restaurant? Uh, we both thought the other had booked and it was full, so... Oh. <laughs> Do that, Ashley. Very frustrating. <laughs> oh, it's worked out well, though, hasn't it? Double date. Thank you. What is that fluffy monstrosity in the star from the practice mascot? It's uh, Ashley's love token to Valerie. If you gave me something like that, I would throw you out. Really? You don't want a little Valentine's treat like a, a teddy or a fluffy wabbit? 
I'm just relieved we don't have to go through all that nonsense, all those unctuous messages and heart-shaped things. Yeah, commercialised nonsense, collective hysteria. Precisely. Well, Ashley's pushing for Minorca or Mallorca, but I quite fancy Benidorm. Apparently it's just like the telly series. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Reminding like some in Spain, don't you? <laughs> I can see that, Ashley. Oh, Menorca or Mallorca. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Money. Stop. Sorry? So when were you thinking of going? Oh, soon, hopefully. <clears throat> I need to tidy up. Downstairs. <laughs> That's far really good. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, we just had to thinking of doing something else the, uh, this afternoon. Okay. Might we? Oh, I'll get you. Those pampering days cost a fortune. Really? Yes, I was checking on the website. It's about 300 and... Is there something wrong with your nose? No, I, I might probably just had an allergic reaction to the food or something. We should probably get some air outside, maybe. Am I you coming? Uh, yes. Mm. You know, this job can be exciting sometimes. There was a siege once. You got tasered in the bum. One time, Howard installed CCTV just to see who was nicking the loo roll. Oh, right. You'd be surprised. This place could be a hotbed of intrigue. And just when you think it's all gone quiet, it just kicks off again. Maybe. Things will get better, you'll see. Hello? You're speaking. Oh, yes, please. Yes, ten on Wednesday would be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I've got an interview. Fantastic. <gasps> oh, oh, trainee hairdresser. Ace or what? Ace. <laughs> well, we can do something else if you prefer. No, it's fine. It's a really thoughtful gift. I, I, it's just not the right thing. I, I don't mind, honestly. Ah, oh, you're very fat. Sorry? Stuffing your face. So, nice gentle treatment for afternoon. Don't want chuck up on table. That's right, no. And the hot stone massage sounds nice. Yes, perfect. It's very soothing. That sounds painful. No, it's not beating up with rocks. It's placed carefully on. You will see. Actually, you can do together. Valentine treat. Together sounds great. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Good, so it's fixed. You come. <laughs> oh. oh. Would you like to stroke my pussy? <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Must be the champers. So, who do you think that Valentine's is from then? I have no idea. Daniel? I mean, he's pretty flash. Daniel? Not likely with Zara around. Or that young one, the bit of a scruff. Chris, no. Or the fat one. Or the one with a mullet. Oh, don't be daft. It's probably just a patient. Do they flirt with you? Hmm. <laughs> I like it when you're possessive. Huh? Why don't we go and find a little spot in the stock cupboard and live dangerously? Oh. Here's a couple. <laughs> 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 you say your stone's too hot. Mm, no, it feels great. It's too hot. Yes, because heat to make blood flow around the body is very relaxing. <laughs> I can think about ways. It's ancient Red Indian ritual. Some people think the stones have magic qualities, make booty release. <laughs> Ignore him. He's a bit uptight about things like this. I'm not. Uh, hanging your shirts one inch apart in the wardrobe is relaxed, is it? No, that is very uptight. <laughs> you can't help it. He's OCD. OCD? Obsessive compulsive disorder. You know, like washing. Hermione! I've got it too. Except mine's more intrusive thoughts. Mm, I see. So now we'll leave you all relaxed for a while. Mm. I'm totally stoned on endorphins. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Oh. What if I want them to know that I'm OCD, then I'll tell them. Oh, don't worry about them. They've heard everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking 
rocking chair there. I've got an interview for a salon next week. Oh, a salon great. Yeah, something creative at long last. So I'm wondering, do I do my hair a bit bonky, Shogo Flair? Well, you'll probably start by sweeping up hair, you know, at the long hours, badly paid. I'm not thick. I know you've got to put the time in. Well, yeah, but it's a long apprenticeship, Karen. You know, I'm not being mean, but you're probably going to have to prepare yourself for the fact that the might be looking for someone a bit younger. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Glad you're not my mom. What's up with her? Uh, just over realistic about an interview. She's got an interview. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just wanted to warn her they might be looking for someone younger. But if you put ideas like that into her head, she's never going to get another job. She's got one. A, a job she wants. Was it you that sent her that Valentine? Eh? No. I mean, I think Bella is ace, but she's probably not into younger men. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're not into older women, though, does it? Well, I'm not. You take no notice. He's only joking. I am not. Right. Oh, will you calm down? I am now a public figure, and as such, I'm going to get some public attention. It's par for the course. Dozens of men could have sent that card, couldn't they, Mandy? Um, so I'll see you later. It's nice to be in demand, eh? Hey? <laughs> you enjoy Hodstone, yes? Very transporting. Yeah, it's not far away enough, unfortunately. Hmm. Sometimes bringing up deep things make bad mood. But not worry. It's part of cleansing process. So, I know Lady won't her mask, but for you... Oh, no, no, I'll sit this one out, thanks. But it's part of package. Think of it as a bonus, then. No, no, it's not about the money, money. It's about journey, cleansing, purging. <sighs> I've cleansed enough, I think. Huh? This is just resistance to release, fear of emotion. I'm not afraid of my emotions. Aren't you? I think deep tissue massage for you work well with Tasha. She's very good. Oh, yeah, she's amazing. Good. So it's fixed. You wait for Tasha, and we make her like a mermaid. Don't be excited. It's only sweeping up people's airy bits. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you need someone? Yeah, yes. Uh, Jimmy. He's, um, Valentine, Dining, Hermione. OK. Uh, Heston, then? He's at the campus. Howard? He's in his room. You all right? You seem down. A bit, maybe. A bit or a lot. They all keep saying I'm too old for everything, and I've got this, I've got this hairdressing interview, and and with that they're going, ooh, ooh, what do you want to be artistic for? I mean, maybe they're right. Maybe, maybe I am too old. You've got an interview at a hairdresser's. That's, that's fantastic. Because you can do whatever you set your mind to, because you are incredibly, incredibly creative. I thought it was, but. Maybe I'm deluded. No way. You are the reason why Emmy is an artist. Really? Yes, really. When, when she was, I don't know, six, that big, the stuff you used to do in the garden, the sculptures that you made from branches from, from a, a tree that I'd chopped down. Oh, wow. So, while you're on, I give manicure, yes? Oh, there, yes, please. It's like an operating theatre. Yes, and I am expert nail surgeon. <laughs> Everything okay? Hmm? Fine. Yeah. I mean, you made Bart Simpson out of crisp packets. I know who he is. So don't get down, don't give up. Because once you get your foot in that door, you will impress any new boss. Thank you. Well... Have fun with Howard. What? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. speak a word of English, but you are brilliant at your job. <laughs> you are trying to make me feel at home. Oh, what are you doing? Colonic, no? No, 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 no. Sergeant? No, I've come to see Jimmy. Oh, well, he's... I mean, Howard. I mean, uh... I've got to get off. Uh, Zara, we've been boring. You know, we can always go to supper if you'd like. What? Share supper with all those bozos staring into their rigatoni, wondering what on earth they've got to say to each other. Hmm. I would far rather have a TV dinner fest and a lovely bottle of burgundy. Okay. Oh, by the way... This game for you. Oh. oh. Oh, you surprised me. So I see. Did you forget something? I've sussed who this card's from. Who? All these fancy words and twiddles. It's obvious. Heston. Heston? Don't be daft. I've never been more serious in my life. In fact, I'd like to question him about it. Do you really think that's a good idea? He is my boss. Precisely. <laughs> oh. So, this CID. Uh, OCD. Yes. But you're not cleaning. No. It's obvious. But he is very squeaky. No, uh, mine's more bonkers intrusive thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Uh, like worrying I'm gonna throw myself off the top of a building or drive into the side of a wall. That is crazy. Uh, no, it, it's what most people think uh, a bit. It, it just doesn't take them over. Mm -hmm. But with you, it's take over. Yes. So what you are thinking now? You don't want to know. Believe me, in here I have heard everything. I keep thinking I'm going to stab you with a nail file. You know, like in Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to do it, I just think I am. What's the matter? She doesn't know the difference between uh, collagen and a colonic. What? Just tried to stick a tube up my... Anyway, right, I'm going. You do what you want. No, J Jimmy, wait. I've got to go. No, go. Please. I wonder if it was from Heston. I thought we'd close that subject. Well, apparently not, because you are going to challenge him on it. I'm not going to challenge him. Just chat, man to man. Well, what if it's not Heston? I look like a right nana. You should be pleased I want to fight for you. Fight? With Heston? What is this, the Three Musketeers? You underestimate me. Which, yeah, evidently. I didn't realise you were so jealous and possessive. I never realised you were so insatiable for adoration. Isn't my love enough? What's insatiable about wanting to keep the first anonymous Valentine's card you've ever had in your life? Don't be ridiculous. The first. Yes, the first. Look, if I'd known... Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Let's just get to the opera. Right. Jimmy, please stop! Why? Do you want to stick a tube on my backside as well? What were you thinking? I... It's all about cleanliness. I thought you'd like it. It's not, though, is it? It's ridiculous. I and mean, what about broadcasting my OCD? I wasn't broadcasting. I was telling the truth. Maybe I don't want you to. Why? I'm not ashamed. People will think we're bonkers. Who cares? We, we know we're not. It's none of the business. Look, Jimmy, I don't care what people think. We are what we are. And if you can't accept it in yourself, how can you accept it in me? Well, I do. No, you don't, obviously. Hermione, where are you going? Come on. Hermione, where are you going? 
Hermione, come on, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Okay. Yes, you did. And it's fine. I am what I am. Bonkers, manic, whatever. It's taken me a long time to accept it. I can't be with someone who's too frightened and repressed to do the same. Hermione, please wait. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart that you are really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I tried so not to give in. I said to myself, this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when, baby, I know so well? <laughs> I've got you under my skin. Mrs. Hannon is determined to get you struck off. We both know she could get you into some serious trouble. Abortions are my thing. Nevertheless, we have a duty to investigate. If she had said, do you think my mother is wrong, what would you have said? I've got the sisterhood on my back because I supported a woman's right to choose. Who's doing the choosing, Al? You or Fliss? Fliss. Stick with BBC One for drama, the final part of W... Opera in Birmingham. A traviolata. Traviata. Hmm? Oh! The birds of the universe unite! Huh? We who do Valentine's Day properly! <laughs> right, yeah. Um, listen, I've just got to drop this into Howard. It'll be five minutes and then a day is out. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, did he, um, did he get you anything? Gorgeous bracelet and champagne breakfast. Oh, lovely. Ah, Mine's taking me to the opera. We're, we're going out for lunch as well. Michelin starred. Oh. Mm. Don't tell him, but I, I've booked a surprise. A surprise? For Jimmy? Are you sure? A day at the Argus Bar. Dead exclusive. He's going to love it. Um, it might be better to run it by him first. It's fine. We have a unique trust and understanding of each other. A match made in heaven. Exactly. Hello. Oh, Karen. What's the matter? I've got more re rejection letters. I'm a total failure. That is not true. You just have to be patient. Yeah. But nobody wants a middle-aged teenager. What's this? Strike meeting. Oh, Karen's got a couple of rejection letters. It's just standard ones. Nothing to worry about. Except for the one... that I'm, I must be off my trolley if I think that I can get a job with my qualifications. Oh, yeah, well, you wouldn't want to work somewhere like that anyway. But I've got so much to offer. I'd be brilliant. We know that. Just must not read like that. Plus, there's lots of competition. I've got loads of experience. Yeah, but just not in the areas that you're applying for. I'm something when you need it. Oh, it's common sense, really. Oh, oh, you'd be surprised at how many people just throw things back in any old file. Well, different people have different systems. Those people who wrote those rejection letters knew how good Karen is. Well, not a single interview. Thank you, by the way. Now, don't worry, because you will get that dream job if it is the last thing I do. <laughs> Absolutely. Although it'd be a shame to lose you. So brilliant with the patients. Not really. You are, they love you. Oh. Asking after you when you were off. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Walker. <gasps> my sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gorgeous thing, you. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Two cards you have outdone yourself, you little devil. Two? Mm, yeah, you little minx. I knew it was from you. The poem is so tasteful. Poem? It's very romantic, though, for my version. 
That card is not from me, Valerie. Oh. Does that mean I've got a secret admirer? Did I fall asleep? I wonder. I was up all night doing balloons. Oh, it's still clean, yes? Yeah, really clean, actually. No, for really clean, I make extractions. Extractions? Trust me, you will like. You are a very good candidate. Okay. Well, I think you're going to interrogate me or something. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Ah, ah, naughty boy, just ah. one little worm. Ah! <sighs> Is it good? Oh, yeah, fantastic. How was yours? Oh, yeah, great. Let's have a look. Oh, don't worry, it's from extraction in ten minutes gone. So, now you pick treatment for afternoon, yes? Oh, right, uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, why don't we um, pick when we come back? I've got you. Ah, thank you for fitting us in. Do you think we could start with a bottle of champagne, please? That last place is a bit stuffy. It's much better to be somewhere where we can relax. Mm. Mm. What? Nothing. I can't imagine anything nice than sitting here with you. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, I love this song. Oh, hello! <laughs> what happened to your fancy restaurant? Uh, we both thought the other had booked and it was full, so... Oh. <laughs> Do you hear that, Ashley? <laughs> Very frustrating. <laughs> oh, it's worked out well, though, hasn't it? Double date. Thank you. What is that fluffy monstrosity in the star from the practice mascot? It's uh, Ashley's love token to Valerie. If you gave me something like that, I would throw you out. Really? You don't want a little Valentine's treat like a, a teddy or a fluffy wabbit? I'm just relieved we don't have to go through all that nonsense, all those unctuous messages and heart-shaped things. Yeah. Commercialised nonsense. Collective hysteria. Precisely. Sorry, sorry, you okay? Yeah. Hey? Are you bleeding? <laughs> no, the bedding and I are fine, Dr. Clay. <laughs> well? Well, by me. I was creeping around all last night trying not to wake you. It's amazing. <laughs> Valentine's Day. So that's next Friday, 9.20. Nothing to eat for 12 hours. Morning, campers. Morning. Oh, you've not done the mail. Funny enough, I've been rather busy. <laughs> oh, crikey! There's loads for me. Maybe they're all interviews. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Red one sent it for you. Blimey. Oh. oh, what a posh poem as well. Valentine, you are the one that sets my heart aglow. If only I could touch your smile... And cure your rank B.O. 
<laughs> really, all Valentine's was so candid. Who's a dark arse? You're Ashley. Oh, yeah. Very tasteful. How many did you get? Ugh, nada. Ditto. Mercifully. Oh, it's very easy to be cynical, but not my Ashley. It's taken me to the... It's so stupid. You're actually in a great position because... because you've got a job here for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know it's hard, but you've just got to meet things head on. It's been head on ever since I woke up in that blooming hospital with a load of strangers staring at me. When's life going to be simple again? Is this the uh, Arga Spa? It's written outside, no? More like the Arga Bar. It's a place of relaxation, spa and bar. It looked nice on this on the internet. I have just booked premises. I'm waiting for refurbish. It's very good service. Um, I booked on... Internet voucher, yes, but you are very late. Oh, fine. Well, we'll, we'll go then. No, 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 no. There is still time. We'll be just a bit quicker. I have very good grooming package for gentlemen. The sack, back and crack. <laughs> I don't think... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's shy, boy. So... Maybe face your steam skin, make very clean. Why don't you, um, I'll, I'll just wait here. Uh, not if you don't. I... Come, it's treat from sweetheart, you must. And for lady? I was wondering about the decongesting wrap. Oh, yes, it's really beautiful, make so slimming and relaxed. Put on eye mask, drifting up. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that I want oh, someone... Oh, yeah, you'll love it. It makes you feel so clean. Really, you're a big baby. I'm not going to jog head off. Just make skin beautiful. I'm expert, promise. OK, well, as long as we're out by lunchtime. Of course. So, I take facial and lady go with Tasha. Hello. She not speak much English. such a difference you being back, you know. Gives you all something to laugh at. No, it means you can put your hands straight 